This recently discovered painting by the German 16th century master Lucas Cranach the Elder is to be sold at Bonhams on Wednesday the 4th of December. It is expected to make in the region of one and a half to two and a half million pounds. Lucas Cranach played a significant role in the Renaissance in Northern Europe and was one of the greatest German painters of all time. The importance of this previously unknown work is not only that it is an exceptionally well-preserved example of an elegantly sensuous image by a major artist, but also because the symbolism of this particular work shows how the artist played a crucial role in the Reformation. Discovering a lost picture that has such a significant part in Western culture is tremendously exciting. Cranach and his workshop painted at least 27 versions on the theme of Venus and Cupid, the earliest of which, dating from circa 1526 or 7, is in the National Gallery in London. Of the various versions of this subject, the National Gallery picture probably comes closest to our composition. The subject comes from Idyll 19, The Honey Thief, then attributed to the 3rd century Greek poet Theocritus, but almost certainly by a later writer. The story tells how Cupid, trying to steal a honeycomb, is stung by a bee and complains to his mother Venus. She laughs at him for making such a fuss over so trivial a wound when he himself is capable of inflicting far greater ones. Cranach reinterprets this classical tale in a Christian, specifically Protestant, manner. The Wittenberg humanists developed the image of honey and the bees as a symbol of human inclinations and Cranach uses the story of Cupid being stung while seeking pleasure to convey the message that pleasure does us harm and is mixed with pain. This is reinforced by the quotation in Latin in the top left-hand corner of the picture which translates as A bee stings the son of Venus while he is stealing honeydew, thus sweet things are mixed with evil ones. This specific inscription is taken from a book by the musician and music theorist Georg Rau, which was published for the first time in 1518 and was intended for the instruction of church musicians. Venus is here pictured as a specifically erotic figure and a further symbol of temptation, while the stag lying docilely in the background stands for prudence. This use of a classical theme to convey a humanist message spoke to a wide interest in antiquarianism within the scholarly circles of Wittenberg, but may also have appealed to Cranach as a means of avoiding accusations of creating religious icons or idols, a hugely contentious issue among his fellow Protestants at the time, since such art was associated with Roman Catholicism and the imagery from which Luther and his circle sought to distance themselves.